Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Kids. Today we're going to be looking at dealing with frame rates with P5.js. Let's get started. So in the first uh, lecture this past uh, week, we've talked about making and dealing with frame rates and moving uh, things in accordance with the mouse. Now let's kind of dig into what this frame rate is. Now usually, okay, um, let's just say uh, FR is going to be our frame rate. Um, so uh, and let's actually put our variables up here. Now, usually, oops, our frame rate here is going to be something like uh, 60 frames per second. Now, there are a lot of times when we want to maybe slow things down. So to maybe make it like 10 frames per second, really move slowly across the screen. Okay, um, now another thing that we want to do maybe is, let's create up and let's actually, um, let me just do this. Let me keep this at six, six, 60 for now. Okay, and let's go on and create up maybe uh, just a, a rectangle, okay? So var x is equal to zero. Um, uh, var c is gonna be some color. Okay, and we'll, and we'll have it uh, deal with some coloring uh, rates later on. I'm just going to do this, uh, keep that there for now, because I know we'll use it later. Uh, and let's do something like a frame rate. Now, this controls the frame rate, so I'll just put FR for now. Okay, and it's going to attempt to refresh it at that rate. Now, this is the normal rate, is already 60, and we'll, we'll slow it down here in a little while. Um, and let's do something like, um, we want to have a box move across the screen. Okay, that's that's going to be our goal. That'll, so we'll have a little box go, da, 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 or maybe we'll have a, you know what, maybe let's do, um, let's do a var d for diameter, and we'll make this uh, 50. Okay, so we'll have a little ball going across the screen. Um, so first off, let's do something like um, x is uh, x, uh, pl uh, plus equal one. Okay, so that's how it's going to um, move uh, circle. Uh, it's going to move the circle across the screen. Okay, so let's also do this. We need to make sure that, and you know what, let me give us some space. We want to have this do this kind of in a loop. And so we need to make sure that uh, checking, for example, if uh, x is greater than or equal to width. So again, what we're doing is we're making sure that um, that this is checking the condition for it to go off the screen. Okay, if it goes off the screen, we want to do something else. So if uh, frame rate is equal to, let's say, uh, let's do 60. Um, you know what? I don't really want to do some of that right now. Um, mm, let's do something like uh, uh, x is equal to 0. And then we want to actually go through and draw this out. So let's do um, um, ellipse x uh, 50 uh, d, d. OK, so notice it'll go across the screen. And maybe, mm, let's maybe put this at uh, 200. OK, so now notice once it goes off the screen, OK, it should, boop. It kind of has that little bit of a blip here. And maybe we need to do something like um, uh, plus 10 or something like that. OK, so that once we actually let it go off the screen before it resets. Uh, so let's see. No, uh, how big was it? Our diameter was 50. So let's do uh, plus 50. So again, it looks like it's moving across the screen at uh, all right, there we go. So now it's kind of in this nice repeat. It goes all the way off the screen and then it comes back. So the reason that we needed this extra plus 50 is because again, our diameter is plus 50 and our circle center is, uh, that's again, we're doing the diameter. So the width and the height. 
Uh, now this is nice and all, but maybe we want it to do something a little bit different. Okay, so let's say that we want this frame rate to be at like 30. Okay, so it moves nice and slow. And we'll maybe have it speed up as we go along. Okay, so let's do something like, um, I'm gonna stop it for now, okay? Uh, so here, let's change this up just a little bit and we'll say something like, if our frame rate is equal to 30, uh, we want to so say something like, C is equal to color of zero, zero, uh, 255. Okay, and then we'll do frame rate is equal to 10. Frame rate is frame rate. Oops. So it'll slow down a little bit. Um, and then we'll do something like else here. Where do we want this at? Uh, here. Let's, oh, moved it too far. So let's go here. Else, uh, we want the color to equal um, red. Okay. Uh, and we want our frame rate uh, to equal. 30. Okay, and then otherwise, uh, we want to fill with, let's see, I did say C for color, right? C for color. All right, so let's play this. And now, you know what, I'm going to speed this up. I want this to be something like 60, because we don't want us to be here all day. This will be 30, this will be 60. Uh, I think that should do it. All right, so let's go on and play this. Oh, and we have an error. What am I missing here? Mm, line 15. Hmm. All right, so sorry about that. I seem to be kind of mixing and matching some of the stuff that I um, am used to doing. And so let's actually go on and change this to, whoops. Uh, so instead of color here, let's say we want it to be um, blue. And then um, this other color here, we'll change it to red. And let's see how that works. Once I zoom out. Here and play. Oh, it still doesn't like our current representations of those. All right, so let's go on and fix this uh, particular issue here. So when it when this comes up, okay, um, what's happening here is that inside of this loop, we don't actually have. So we have this color here, blue. We have a color red. We're not having it. Um, change at all. We don't have a starting color. So let's go back up to the setup function here and say C is equal to color of um, green for now. So it'll start out at green. And then now this first time, whenever it goes through, it will go through boop, and it changes to blue and it's going at a slower rate right now. And whenever it comes back through again, it should change back now to red whenever it comes through our loop once again. Okay, so loop, and then it's red. And now it will, from now on, it will alternate between our greens and blue, or our, our blue and green, or blue and green, our blue and red. Uh, but it'll always start out at green because that's our starting color. Okay, so just a little bit of a review. First off, we created our variables here, our frames per second. Uh, and then we all our frame rates. We have a canvas. We uh, created the frame rate. We're going to keep it at that faster frame rate initially, and we're going to change the color of our circle to green for our start color. Then it's going to be moving across the screen on the x-axis. 
Okay. Now, if the x is greater than 50, uh, the width plus 50, so once it leaves the screen, okay, it's going to change the color to blue. It'll slow down its frames per second. So see, you see that it's now it's 30 frames per second. That's half speed. Okay. And then when it leaves, okay, uh, it'll change back to 60 frames per second and it'll change to red. Okay, so change to red right now. And notice it's a little bit faster. And then again, once it goes through, it's going to change again to blue. And it's just going to do this in an infinite loop. Uh, if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.